County, south of Mankato, at Prairie Pride Farms. For five generations, the Hubmer family have been raising Berkshire hogs, free-range chickens, and growing crops on their century-old farm. I'm Jill Jones with SPNN, and in this episode of Market, we're going to find out how they raise their award-winning pork and poultry. Wow, look at all these chickens. Hey, Don. Hey. Oh, hi, Jill. Good to see you. Good to see you. What a great day. Yeah, it's a wonderful day. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the chickens out now. Are you ready to help me do chores? Absolutely. Okay, let's do that. People will say, well, why are your eggs tasting so good? And I'm like, well, I think our chickens have a really happy life. They're not stressed. Uh, they have everything that they can want. There's no antibiotics, uh, no hormones. You know, they have good, healthy feed if there's no other food available. That's what really makes a good, healthy egg. In the grocery store, you see cage-free or free-range, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they go outside. What really makes a good, healthy egg is one that is, actually has a chicken that has access to outside. And not just access, but also is outside all day long. Because then they have a chance to eat bugs and grit and gravel and basically anything their body tells them that they need to eat. It's available. Is there like a smorgasbord of flavors out there? Well, sometimes there'll be like two chickens in one, one nest here. They really like the straw. <clears throat> um, and they'll, they'll stay in here for, for as long as it takes them to lay an egg. It might be 20 minutes. Some girls just hang out in here all day long. You know, they just really like it. Okay, Jill, let's go and let the other chickens out. We'll go around the building, okay? This is called the Cornish Cross. It's been around for generations. When I was a young girl, this is a breed that my mom and dad had. It's an old, old breed. And they're known for their meat quality, uh, also uh, easy to raise. We actually grind our own feed um, with the corn, and so we know exactly what's in it. You know, no antibiotics, no hormones, you know, no animal byproducts. So we know it's good, healthy feed that they're gonna really thrive on. With chickens, you gotta have a dry, clean pen, you know, but they're not overly crowded, you know, and that's the, the main key. You don't wanna have things crowded. So they don't have that stress right. of they're, being overcrowded. They have plenty of room, you know, to, to lay around and, you know, it, you know, animals are kind of like people, you know, there's certain, Certain animals get along really well together and certain people get along well and then sometimes they don't get along so well. So you need to have that separation. They look pretty happy today. Well, hey, thanks so much for telling us all about your chickens and showing them to yeah. us. Can, can we see your hogs now? Yeah, let's go see them. Great. Okay, we'll go this way. Got some turkeys this year, so that's something kind of new um, to our farm. We have some turkeys and also some geese and ducks. We thought we'd give it a try. They're really getting along well with the chickens, you know, we're trying to have things all kind of uh, work together, you know, as a system. Wow. What's going on right here? Well, this is our compost pile. And what we do, we take the manure from inside the chicken house and we pile it up here and then we let it decompose and it makes wonderful dirt, you know. So after about three years, then we're able to use that and put that back on the field again. Or we also give it to gardeners that are in St. Clair. So this is part of the sustainable farming? Yep, part of it. We reuse everything on the farm. We always have a, a purpose for everything that we do. This is our breeding stock here, the Berkshire boars and sows. They do uh, natural mating. This is where all the action happens. These are purebred. We have Brock over here. This is our boar. We have a couple of our sows here. Now this guy here, he's probably around um, oh, uh, six years old. Um, and then uh, this gal here, she's probably around three years old. We keep our breeding stock around for, for a long time. You know, they like being outside in the sunshine. They'll normally have about eight baby pigs. Um, 
the Berkshire breed isn't really known for their production, you know, like meaning having a lot of baby pigs. They're, they're more into the quality, not quantity part of it. You know, that's why it's so expensive to buy. We always thought the consumer wanted flavor. Can we go see some of your other pigs? Yeah, let's go see some more pigs. Great. Okay. So you showed us the breeding hogs, and what's this facet of the operation? Well, this facet here is a modern day confinement barn. What we do every six weeks we have, we farrow about 10 sows. Um, they have about 100 baby pigs. And then after they leave the nursery, you know, then they come out to the finishing barn and then we put them in small groups here. They have feed, um, you know, that we grow on our farm. They have sunlight, uh, the water, pool, you know, comfortable environment. Should we go and see like where we actually grow, start growing the corn that we use for the pigs? That'd be great. Okay, let's go. What we do on our farm, we try and incorporate old technology and new technology. This is what we grow in order to make our feed for our pigs. Let's go into my office. All right. This is an ear of corn that is non-GMO corn that we use for our own hog feed. So we have a sustainable farm, you know, not just from hogs, but also from the crops for everything that we do. Okay, let's go. Yeah, if we can ever find our way out of here. Phew! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> <laughs> So this is where we sell at the St. Paul Farmer's Market. We're here on the weekends. You know, after we raise a good, healthy hog, you know, naturally, then the other half of the equation is the processing. We found a nice butcher that does our processing in the uncured method. So we don't use any nitrates or nitrites, no MSG and no gluten. So it ends up being a less salty product and it's also fully cooked and we do all of our smoked products this way. Don, we know this is just such a busy time of year for, for all of you, so we really want to say thank you and tell you we appreciate you letting us come out here uh, to really witness the pa passion and dedication that you put into raising uh, your hogs and chickens and the crops. So thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. We really enjoy our life out here. We really enjoy meeting the customers at the farmer's market and talking to people all over the United States about our passion. Thank you for coming. Thank <music> you.